Well, it's been one year, guys. Has anything changed? Stick around. Welcome back to Airbin Outdoors. Hey, I'm Airbin. You knew that, didn't you? Hey guys, today's video was inspired by the Prepared Norseman, who, by the way, has an outstanding channel. And if you haven't checked him out yet, go do so. I'm going to leave a link to his uh, channel in the description section below. The Prepared Norseman. If you don't already know about him, go check him out. Tell him Arabin sent you. But anyway, I just watched a video where he did an update of his winter 2021 everyday carry. So, that's what I want to do. I noticed that it's been one year since I've done an EDC pocket dump. So, that's what this is. This is my winter 2021 pocket dump everyday carry. So... As you saw in the clip, I just unloaded everything from my pockets, and uh, this is typical of what I will carry every day. Now, it does not include the items that are in my everyday bag and in my small expedition everyday carry kit. Okay. But this is my pocket dump, and I'm just going to start over here and work my way over here. These three items here were the only three items I had in my coat pocket. And those items are a little case knife, just a folding pocket knife. I always keep a knife in every coat pocket that I own. This is the one that was in that. I have also one of the clipper lighters um, that's refillable. I don't know if you guys have seen these or not. But they are good. Uh, if you look on the bottom, you can see they're refillable. And then also in my left pocket, I have just an extra mask. The only time I wear a mask is when I go to a doctor or a hospital. Uh, because they do require it. But most of the retail establishments, at least the ones that I frequent here in my little town, don't enforce those laws. Besides, when you have a trach, it's different. This little thing right here has a uh, filter on it. So this is my mask. Covering my face and mouth doesn't do a lot of good anyway. Now, moving on. I have my keychain. This has changed uh, since the last year. Of course, the masks have changed since last year. Uh, when I made this video last year, we didn't even think about needing a mask. But my keychain has changed. And on my keychain, I've added this Night Eyes flashlight, which is really uh, a great flashlight. Regular keys. I have this little Night, night Eyes tool that I use uh, for opening bottles and also for opening envelopes and cutting uh, you could it's got this little sharp edge on it right here and it just clips on it's a pretty handy little tool and then the newest addition to my keychain is this night eyes pocket knife and it lock it's a lock blade so it locks in and it's made by night eyes and it's a great little knife. Because it's so handy and right on my keychain, I use it a lot. And then just house keys and et cetera, et cetera. What you would normally expect to find on a set of keys. All right. In my back right pocket is where I keep my wallet. It's important to have a wallet. I've got my credit cards in there my identification, uh, 
Rarely is there cash, but I try to keep some cash in there. I also have a card that has all my medical information, what medications I'm on, what I'm allergic to, um, emergency contacts, and so forth and so on. Alright, so in my back left pocket is where I keep my phone. And um, I'm not going to go into why you need to have a phone. It's kind of hard to live without them now. i tell you what, uh, another channel I want to give a shout out to, not that he needs it, but uh, if you guys don't know about Bjorn Andreas Bull Hansen, go check him out. He's over in Norway, and he ditched the smartphone months ago. I wish I could, but I'm not there yet. All right. Uh, Moving on to my front right pocket, I keep a knife, and it varies daily and weekly. Today it just happens to be a TAC Force knife that's got the uh, glass breaker and the seatbelt cutter. I have one of these in my truck that's bigger, but this one is smaller, and it's got the pocket clip so that it fits right inside my front pocket and doesn't stick out far uh, but it's a great little knife the only thing I don't really like about it it does have a cutting edge up at the top part of the blade but I don't like the serrated edges um, also in my front right pocket during the winter months I keep chapstick uh, this is M Skin Care Hemp Therapy Lip Mend. Um, and because uh, in the wintertime, especially with it being windy, um, I like to have a little bit of uh, lip balm to protect my lips. Uh, then, since I've grown a beard, I don't know if I had a beard in the video a year ago or not, but since my beard is getting longer and harder to manage, I keep a Cremo beard comb in my front right pocket. I have another one that's in my bathroom with my other grooming accessories. But uh, I find throughout the day I need to kind of tame it a little bit. So I keep that in that pocket. No, now, now we're moving on to the front left pocket. I keep a, uh, a mask. And you can see this is an Arabin Outdoors face mask for, again, when I have to go into a place that requires a mask. This is the one that I keep in my front jeans pocket. This other one just happens to be in this coat. And again, these disposable ones, I have one in each of my coat pockets. So also in my front left jeans pocket, I keep my pipe lighter. Um, sometimes it's a Bic lighter, but since I've been smoking more pipes lately, this pipe lighter lights pipes a lot better. Um, so that's just my ignition source at the current time. In my front right pocket, I still have my Spinnaker tactical pin with the glass breaker. It's got a very heavy clip on it. I wish it was a tad bit shorter. Great. The Lord has given us. Just calling to give you an update on church services for tomorrow. Yes, we will be having church tomorrow. Yay! We'll see you at 10 o'clock for Sunday school, 11 o'clock for morning worship. Great. That was our pastor calling. We are having church. We've had the COVID going around the church, so for two weeks we haven't been able to go. But tomorrow we get to go. And it's my week to play drums, so I'm excited. But anyway, as I was saying, I wish this tactical pen were a tad bit shorter because in some of my shirt pockets, it sticks way up, and in some of them it fits fine. In my chest, Around my neck, about chest high right here, you'll see the case. 
and you'll see where I pulled off this neck knife. And uh, this is just a, it's called Meyerco, and it's just a neck knife. And uh, I keep that around my neck all the time. You can't tell I have it on, but as a backup, just in case, it's good to have. On my right wrist, I have a paracord bracelet. You never know when you might need emergency paracord. So I keep this on my right bracelet, my right wrist all the time. On my left wrist and hand, I have my watch. Still wearing the uh, Timex Expedition watch. Very fun. I mean, it stays dead accurate. I like the Indiglo feature uh, where it lights up at night. And um, yeah, I have a lot of other watches, but this is my everyday go to watch. And then, of course, I wear my tungsten carbide wedding band all the time on my wedding band finger. Ah, I forgot something. Here in this boot, anytime I wear my boots, and that's usually fall and winter, I have this Smith & Wesson HRT uh, boot knife. It's a great knife, very comfortable, fits in the hand perfectly, and uh, it's comfortable in my boot. I don't even feel that I have it. The boots that I wear are kind of high anyway, as you can see. So when I put this knife in here, the retention is great. Nobody can see it. I don't know it's there. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, hey, that's it. That is my winter 2021 edition EDC pocket dump. Thanks again to Prepared Norseman for reminding me to do this. Again, not much has changed other than my keychain with the, uh, the flashlight, the knife, the fact that we have to carry these masks now, uh, and a neck knife. Those are about the real, oh, oh, and adding the beard comb. That's the only thing that's really changed, guys. I appreciate you coming along on Urban Outdoors today. I know there's a lot of things you could be doing, a lot of places you could be, but you took time out of your schedule to watch my video. I greatly appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Maybe even share it. Anyway, I'm going to go outside and enjoy this beautiful day. I'm going to get my fire site prepared. I've got the family, the kids, and the grandkids coming over tonight. We're going to have lasagna inside. Then we're going to move outside, have a campfire, do some s'mores and marshmallows. Just have a, a good, old-fashioned family campfire. All right, guys, till next time, keep calm, carry on, keep it outdoors.